morning. Okay, in the last classes we discussed about the exponential uh, trigonometric form of the Fourier series. What is the trigonometric form of Fourier series and its uh, uh, related problems we discussed in the last classes. Now we are going to discuss about the exponential form of the Fourier series. Exponential form of the Fourier series. Exponential. What is exponential form? Exponential form. So here, so the majority of the physical process can be modeled as linear time invariant systems while dealing with linear linear time invariant system. It is very convenient to decompose an arbitrary input signal as linear combinations of basic signals that contains the following properties. Here, we are describing the linear time invariant systems as the combination of uh, basic signals, linear combination of the basic signals. Okay, arbitrary signal, if we take any arbitrary signal m of t, if m of t is there, m of t can be written as a linear combination of basic signals. So that consists of the following properties. Those are the set of basic signals can be, can be, Used to construct a broad and useful class of signals. The basic signals can be used to construct a broad and useful class of signals. And second one is the response of an LTA system to each signal should be simple and convenient to calculate. So here, here we are using the exponential form of the Fourier series. It can be used to construct a broad and useful class of signals and it is very easy to understand it is very easy to con it is very convenient to calculate the <coughs> problems uh, very easily okay so these are the uh, properties uh, of exponential Fourier series so here LTA system any in the entire system the arbitrary signal m of t can be uh, uh, can be represented as the linear combinations of the basic signals. So what is the use of this linear combination of the basic signals? <laughs> it is very convenient to calculate. It is simple and convenient to calculate. And uh, we can use it to construct a broad and useful <coughs> class of signals. So the complex exponentials have both the above properties. So they can be considered as basic set of signals. So complex exponentials are having the above two properties that's why these are considered as a basic set of signals okay basic set of signals next in the above case the arbitrary continuous time signal can be represented as combination of harmonically related sine and cosine components so here <coughs> the uh, ct signal continuous time signal can be represented as combination of sine and cosine components so these can be expressed in terms of the exponents so m of t can be represented as so suppose you take m of t m of t can be <laughs> represented any arbitrary ct periodic signal whose exponential form should be like this so m of t is an arbitrary signal its exponential form is like this m of t is equal to sigma n is minus infinity to infinity okay cn into e power plus j n omega naught t where the cn is Represented as cn equal to 1 by t naught into integral t naught to t naught plus t naught m of t into e power minus jn omega naught t dt for n is not equal to 0. And c naught, if you put uh, 0 in, instead of n, that is that, is, that will become c naught. So c naught equal to 1 by t naught into integral t naught to t naught plus t naught m of t into e power instead of n, we will put 0. So e power 0, that is 1. So m of t into 1 into dt for n equal to 0. For n is not equal to 0, this is the formula. That is cn equal to 1 by t naught into t naught to t naught plus t naught. m of t into e power minus j n omega naught t dt. If n equal to 0, it is 1 by t naught into t naught to t naught plus t naught m of t t naught. Right? So if this uh, two forms, these two are the uh, exponential <coughs> coefficients, exponential Fourier coefficients. Whereas in the above case, um, a naught, A n, B n, these are the trigonometric Fourier quotients, right? Here, C naught and C n are the exponential form of the Fourier quotients. So, we will do a small problem. Write the exponential Fourier series and plot the magnitude and phase spectrum for the signal M of T, which is as shown like this. 
this is the signal given m of t is given like this m of t versus t the plot will be like this here the time period t naught will be given from minus 1 to 0 that means that uh, its uh, time period is uh, 1 second right so here the signal given is <laughs> it is a ramp signal so m of t equal to t right so m of t equal to t from 0 to 1 right so here fundamental time period t naught equal to 1 second and f naught equal to reciprocal of the fundamental time period that is 1 by 1 that is 1 head and omega naught equal to what is omega naught angular frequency that is 2 pi f naught so 2 pi into 1 so it is a 2 pi radians so what is the given signal m of t m of t equal to t for 0 is less than t is less than 1 from 0 to 1 its value is t okay so 0 is less than t is less than 1 m of t value is 1 so what are the exponential coefficients here here the exponential coefficients coefficients are c naught and c n we have to calculate those of c naught and c n so c naught equal to what is the formula for finding the c naught so c naught equal to 1 by t naught integral t naught to t naught plus t naught m of t dt what is m of t here t okay so 1 by t naught t naught is 1 1 by 1 and integral t naught to that is 0 to 1 m of t value is t t into dt so integral t dt is t square by 2 with limits 1 and 0 so its value is 1 by 2 so c naught value is 1 by 2 right c naught value is 1 by 2 next coming to the cn value how to calculate the cn value cn equal to 1 by t naught integral t naught to t naught plus t naught m of t into e power minus j n omega naught t dt okay right so m of t value is t 1 by 1 into integral 0 to 1 t in t power minus j n uh, omega naught value is 2 pi into t dt so it is in the form of uh, this uh, this integral is in the form of integral t e power a t dt so e power a t by a square into a t minus 1 this is the formula okay integration formula so integral t into e power a t dt is equal to e power a t by a square into a t minus 1 okay use this formula in this form in this uh, given problem so c n equal to e power a t a value is <coughs> a value is uh, here a value is e power uh, minus j n 2 pi n n t by minus j n 2 pi n this is a value a square into a t minus 1 minus j 2 pi n into t minus 1 so with the limits 0 1 so by substituting these values and uh, use this uh, formula c power minus j 2 pi n equal to 1 and j square equal to minus 1 so that uh, we will get uh, a n value is uh, minus j by 2 pi n for n is not equal to 0 the magnitude of c n is uh, 1 by 2 pi n okay mod c n is square root of this one so j square is minus 1 so 1 by 2 pi n okay so 1 by 2 pi n magnitude so and theta n theta n equal to this is imaginary term is minus uh, 1 by 2 pi n this is imaginary term so uh, this is uh, theta n is minus 5 by 2 for n is greater than 0 and is equal to plus 5 by 2 for n is less than 0 okay so after finding the magnitude and magnitude and uh, phase values we have to draw the magnitude spectrum and phase spectrum right so how to draw the magnitude spectrum by taking the values of n and c n n and c n okay by taking the values of n and c n right so n and c n n values are uh, both take to both positive and negative values so n is minus 4 then substitute the value of n in the above expression above uh, magnitude expression that is uh, 1 by 2 pi n right n is minus 4 then uh, minus uh, 8 by 1 by minus 8 by right so like this 1 by 8 by it is minus 4 1 by 8 by. minus 3 1 by 6 by minus 2 1 by 4 by minus 1 1 by like this so substitute these values and draw the plot between what cn and omega okay similarly phase plot it is equal to what is phase plot theta n equal to minus 5 by 2 for n is greater than 0 so if it is a n is greater than 0 it is minus 5 by 2 if n is less than 0 it is plus 5 by 2 so this is the phase plot for the for this problem m of t equal to t for 0 is less than t is less than 1 okay this is about the exponential Fourier series 
so we have to find out the exponential Fourier quotient C naught and C n by using the formulas one by T naught into integral T naught C n C naught is one by T naught integral T naught to T naught plus T naught m of t dt and uh, C n equal to one by T naught integral T naught to T naught plus T naught m of t dt power minus J n J n two by T into T okay J n J n omega naught T into T right like that uh, we'll do some problems so next problem is find the exponential Fourier series and the plot the magnitude and phase spectrum for the signal given below okay so this is the given problem see this is the problem what is this problem m of t m of t is given as e power minus t from 0 to 1 0 is less than t is less than 1 it is varying from minus infinity to infinity so what is the basic uh, fundamental time period here 0 to 1 that is 1 second t naught equal to 1 second so f naught equal to 1 by 1 that is 1 head and omega naught equal to 2 pi into 1 that is 2 pi radians what is m of t m of t is given as e power minus t right e power minus t so e power minus t in the sense uh, it is e power minus t from 0 to 1 0 is less than t is less than 1 right so after that, we have to calculate the C naught and C n values. How to calculate C naught value? C naught equal to 1 by T naught into integral T naught to T naught plus T naught M of T dt. M of T e power minus T dt. Integral e power minus T is e power minus e power minus T with limits 0, 1. Okay. So, by simply substituting these values, we will get C naught value is 0.632. Okay. Next, we have to find the C n value. So C n equal to 1 by T naught in integral T naught to T naught plus T naught M of T in E power minus J n omega naught T T T. So 1 by T naught value is 1 integral 0 to 1 E power minus T into E power minus J n into T omega naught value is 2 pi into T T T. So E power taking minus as common 1 plus J 2 pi and T into T T. So E power minus of 1 plus J 2 pi and T into T by minus of 1 pi. 1 plus 2 and 2 pi j n with limit 0, 1 pi so simply substituting these values and also use this formula e power minus j 2 pi is equal to 1, it will become 0.632 by 1 plus j 2 pi n for n is not equal to 0. If n is 0, if n is 0, this will become 0.632. Okay. So after that, we will find out the magnitude, not g n equal to. Point six three two by square root of real real term square plus imaginary term square. Okay, so it is a four by square and square plus one, and uh, theta n is a minus tan inverse uh, imaginary term by real term. Imaginary term is uh, two pi n and real term is one. So minus tan inverse two pi n. So magnitude expression is there <coughs> and phase expression is there. By using these two expressions, we can draw the magnitude plot and phase plot. Okay, so magnitude plot is this one. So we are taking the values n and mod c n. So these are the values. So from minus four to plus four, we will draw plot like this. Similarly, for the phase spectrum, um, what is the uh, expression minus tan inverse two pi n? By taking the n values, negative values and positive values, we will get the we will get some values. So by using those values, we can draw the phase spectrum like this. This is about this problem. Next, uh, next uh, another problem. Find the exponential Fourier series and plot the magnitude and phase spectrum for the given signal. Here, two expressions are given. Only one is one minus t, that is from zero to one, and another one is m of t is one plus t, that is from minus one to zero. So here the time period is minus one to plus one, that is uh, two seconds. So time period is two seconds, right? So what is m of t? m of t is given as one plus t from minus one to zero. Minus one is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to zero, and it is one minus t for zero is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to one. Okay, and uh, time period t is given as two seconds, and uh, f naught. What is fundamental frequency? F naught is given as uh, reciprocal of the time period that is one by two. So that is 0.5 hertz, okay, 0.5 hertz and omega naught equal to omega naught 2 pi f naught 2 pi into 0.5, okay, that is pi radians, 
now we will calculate the values of C0 and C0 and Cn. Okay, C0 is calculated by using the formula 1 by T0 into integral T0 to T0 plus T0 M of T dt. M of T value is given as what is M of T here 2 M of T sub dn. From minus 1 to 0, it is 1 plus T. From 0 to 1, it is 1 minus T. So, minus 1 to 0, 1 plus T dt plus 0 to 1, 1 minus T dt, right? So, by simply substituting these values, you will get the C0 value is 1 by 2, right? In the same manner, we will find out the Cn value also. Cn equal to 1 by T0 integral T0 to T0 plus T0, num of T into E power minus Jn omega naught T dt, right? For n is not equal to 0. So, here also two limits are there. So, for substituting those limits, okay? And uh, simply get the value of Cn as 1 by 2 into 2 by 5 square n square minus 2 by 5 square n square into minus 1 whole power n. So, for n values, so for odd values of n, if n is 1, minus 1 whole power 1 is, this is uh, minus 1, so minus 1 minus plus. So, n is 1, minus 1 whole power 1, that is minus 1. So, uh, so it will become 4 by 5 square n square, so 2, 2 gets cancelled by 4, uh, 2 gets uh, cancelled by 4 by 2, so 2 by 5 square n square for odd values of n. And if n is even value, then it will become, then it will become 0, okay. Similarly, for theta n, theta n is minus tan inverse of imaginary value by real value, I mean, here there is no imaginary value, so it is a, it will become tan inverse 0, that is 0. So theta n is 0. So there is no phase spectrum for this problem. Only we have the magnitude spectrum only. So for magnitude spectrum Cn mod Cn, Cn equal to this one. Okay. So by taking these values, we can find out uh, this is mod Cn equal to 2 by 5 square n square for taking n values from minus 5 to plus 5, so that uh, for these, are, these are only odd values, odd values, minus 2, minus 2, minus 0, 1, 3, 1, 3, and 5, okay, like this, uh, we can take the odd values, so that we will get the phase spectra like this, right, by simply substituting these values, and the Cn versus omega naught value, so we will get the plot like this. Like this. And then this is about the this is about the this is about the problems related to exponential Fourier series. Exponential Fourier series. Now coming to the Dirichlet conditions. Dirichlet conditions. What are Dirichlet conditions? Dirichlet conditions, these are very, very important conditions. So, only we have three conditions are there. So, first one is over any period, x of t must be absolutely integrable. It means that uh, integral integral mod x of t dt is less than infinity. It must be some finite value, right? Then only it is absolutely integrable. It is absolutely integrable over any period x of t must be absolutely integrable that is integral t mod x of t dt must be less than infinity it must be some finite value that is the first condition second condition is um, x of t has a finite number of maxima and minima within any finite interval it must have the finite number of maxima and minima it means that um, some Finite values means some bounded, bounded values, bounded values. Some limit is there. These values should not be infinite, infinite values. These are some finite values. So maximum value and minimum value must be some finite value. So X of T have a finite number of maximum and minimum within any finite interval. That is the second condition. And third one is X of T have a finite number of discontinuities within any finite interval. Furthermore, each of these discontinuities must be finite. All must be finite values. So, discontinuities also finite values. So, finite number of discontinuities within any finite interval. 
So first one is it must be absolutely integrable. X sub t must be absolutely integrable means for any over any period that is integral t mod x sub t dt must be less than infinity. And second one is finite number of maximums and minimums over finite interval. And uh, third one is uh, finite number of discontinuous discontinuities over finite interval. Okay, these three are the Dirichlet conditions. These three are called Dirichlet conditions. Okay, these three are called Dirichlet conditions. Okay. Next, coming to the relation between trigonometric and exponential Fourier series. Already we have two types of Fourier series. Those are trigonometric and exponential Fourier series. Already we discussed about the trigonometric Fourier series and then exponential Fourier series. Now we will see the relation between these two, how these two are related, how these two are related, trigonometric and um, exponential Fourier series then are related, okay, how these two are related. See, so let us take the exponential form of the Fourier series is given as for any arbitrary m of t that is m of t equals sigma m is minus infinity to infinity cn into e power plus jn omega naught t. Okay, cn equal to n is uh, m of t equal to sigma n is minus infinity to infinity cn into e power jn omega naught t. Okay, substituting for e power plus r minus j omega naught t in terms of sine size we get that. M of t equal to plus r one e power j omega t is cos omega naught t plus j sin omega naught t, right? Right. So plus r if it is plus r minus um, j j n omega naught t, then it will become m of t equal to c naught plus c one into cos omega naught t plus j sin omega naught t plus c two into cos two omega naught t plus j sin two omega naught t and dash 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 up to c n into cos n omega naught t plus j sin n omega naught t plus c minus one. Why? Because it is plus r minus, right? C minus 1 into cos omega naught t minus Jason omega naught t plus C minus 2 into cos 2 omega naught t minus Jason 2 omega naught t plus dash 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 plus C minus n into cos n omega naught t minus Jason n omega naught t, right? So we can write this as C naught plus C n plus C minus 1 into cos omega naught t plus J into C1 minus C minus 1 into sin n omega naught t plus C2 plus C minus 2 into cos 2 omega naught t plus J c2 minus c minus 2 into sin 2 omega naught t plus dash dash dash. So we can uh, separate it. There. So c naught plus c1 plus c minus 1 into cos omega naught t plus c2 plus c minus 2 into cos 2 omega naught t plus cn plus c minus n into cos n omega naught t plus j c1 minus c minus 1 into sin n omega naught t uh, sin omega naught t plus j c2 minus c minus 2 into sin 2 omega naught t plus dash 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 cn minus c n minus c minus n into sin n omega naught t right this is uh, let it be taken as a uh, equation number one referring trigonometric form so what is trigonometric form uh, uh, m of t can be represented in trigonometric form as uh, m of t equal to a naught plus sigma n equal to one to infinity a n plus n omega naught t plus b n sin n omega naught let it be taken as equation number two okay comparing now comparing equations 1 and 2, we get uh, a naught equal to c naught, right? a naught is c naught. Here, c naught is there. Here, a naught is there. Here, a naught and c naught. a naught and c naught are both are equal, right? After that, a n equal to. What is a n? a n is c n plus c minus n. Cos n over c n plus c minus n. Similarly, b n is c n minus c j c n minus c minus n, right? So, a naught is c naught, a n equal to c n plus c minus n, and b n is j into c n minus c minus n. The above can be rearranged to get the c naught, c n, and c minus n. In terms of the portions of the trigonometric series, a naught, a n, and b n as c naught equal to a naught. By adding these two, a n plus b n is equal to c n plus c minus n plus j into c n minus c minus n. Okay. c n plus uh, yeah. 
like this by adding jn and jpn from that we can extract adding and subtracting an and bn so that we can get cn equal to half of an minus jpn and c minus n equal to half of an plus jb so like this we can replace or we can write the exponential correlation Okay, in terms of uh, the trigonometric Fourier quotients, and similarly, we can write the trigonometric quotients in terms of the exponential Fourier quotients, like this. Now we can write it either like this, like this, or like this. So, finally, C naught is equal to A naught, C n equal to half of A n minus J B n, and C minus n equal to half of A n plus J B n. J B n. Okay, so this is about the representation or relation between trigonometric and exponential Fourier series. Relation between trigonometric and exponential Fourier series, right? Okay, this is the relation. So, how to represent trigonometric Fourier series uh, components in terms of uh, uh, this uh, exponential Fourier series component that is. Uh, a naught equal to C naught, A n equal to C n plus C minus N, and B n equal to A into C n minus C minus N. Similarly, how to represent uh, this exponential Fourier series coefficients in terms of trigonometric uh, Fourier series coefficients? Those are C naught equal to A naught, C n equal to half of A n minus J B n, and C minus N equal to half of A n plus J B n, right? So, the uh, relation between trigonometric and exponential. Fourier series quotients. Next, we will see the representation of the periodic function by the Fourier series over the entire interval that is uh, from minus infinity to infinity. So, the representation of the periodic function M of t by a Fourier series over the entire interval. Okay, you can see in the next class. So, up to now, what we have discussed today. Exponential Fourier series representation and its uh, coefficients, some problems related to exponential Fourier series uh, uh, representation and its coefficients. Okay, then relation between exponential Fourier series and, uh, and trigonometric Fourier series. So, in the next class, we will see the representation of a periodic function by the Fourier series over the entire interval that is from minus infinity to so with this I am concluding the this class. Okay. Tomorrow we'll see the exponent representation of a periodic function over the entire interval minus infinity to infinity. With this I am concluding the today's class. Okay, thank you.